Verizon and Apple are in business together. With us now for his view on what that change means for those two companies and competitors, Google and Research in Motion, we bring in Saul Trujillo. He has been the CEO of three major telecom companies, including Telstra of Australia, Orange of France, and U.S. West. He currently owns his own investment company, Trujillo Group. He is with us now from Boston. Saul, thanks so much for joining us this morning. What does this partnership, this new partnership between Verizon and and Apple mean, first of all, for competitors such as Google and Research in Motion? Well, actually, I think today's a pretty exciting day because the level of competition goes up. And, and I think that's principle number one. Principle number two is consumers are going to benefit, you know, the more competition that there is. And, uh, and I think the implications are yet to be seen other than the fact that Apple will be a winner and uh, the consumer will be winners. Those are two certainties. And I think over the next several months, we'll see how it plays out because there are still many questions yet to be determined. For example, uh, you know, how is Verizon gonna manage their network with the volumes? On day one, no problem. It'll be a question of once they've added millions of subscribers on, will they face some of the same challenges that perhaps AT&T has had in their initial launch of the iPhone product, so, and, and more importantly, data intense uh, kinds of capabilities. So, do you think, though, that Verizon has an advantage to, in some respects just because it didn't go first? I mean, has Verizon been able to learn from AT&T's mistakes? Well, I, I, absolutely. The answer is absolutely yes. Verizon is a good company. They're, you know, they're very solid in terms of everything that they've done. They've been able to watch AT&T and, and learn from what AT&T has gone through. But let's remember that AT&T isn't the only company in the world that has deployed the iPhone. There are iPhones deployed throughout the world, you know, whether it be in Europe, in Asia, you know, in Latin America, other, other parts of the world, so that, you know, this is not a new phenomenon you know, t only happening here in the U.S. What about this idea that Verizon is actually going to have to subsidize customer purchases? I mean, some analysts are telling us it could cost the company between three and five billion dollars just this year alone. Well, that's one of the interesting phenomenons in a growth kind of business. That first, you know, few months, you you end up subsidizing the entry of a customer, the addition of a customer through the cost of handsets you make it up over the contract life if you're pricing it you know, well enough uh, to be able to do that. So th these companies, big companies, well-funded companies such as AT&T and Verizon, they understand that and they're making longer term plays as opposed to just worrying about the next quarter or two. So we thank you so much for the time.